God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Be seated, please. <clears throat> well, the message today is little is much in the kingdom of God. Little is much in the kingdom of God. The parable of the mustard seed just read teaches us a very important biblical principle. God turns little things into great things. In this simple parable, God turned a tiny seed into a large shrub. The tiniest of seeds, barely noticed, grows to a shrub 12 feet high and 7 feet wide. So the Bible is clear. It teaches us God turns a seed into a tree. God turns a small handful of disciples into the church. God turns a little boy's lunch of five loaves and two fish into enough food to eat to feed 5,000 people. God chooses a young, ordinary shepherd boy who will later become the great King David. God chooses a young peasant girl named Mary to serve as Theotokos bearer of God. A baby in Bethlehem is born in the straw of a cattle stall to become the savior of the world. Again and again, God turns little things into great things. Oftentimes, I think many of us think of ourselves as Christians, few in number, fragile in faith, not unlike that mustard seed we question, what can I do? What could you do? Well, we can do a lot if we trust the message of that parable, the mustard seed. Ultimately, it's not about our ability, but rather our availability. It's about the power of God's grace to accomplish these things. It's sheer volley, folly to underestimate what big things God can do with us, through us, and for us. God's grace blesses us both individually and corporately. You know, compared to a lot of churches, Christ Episcopal Church is like a mustard seed. We don't have big membership. We don't have big attendance. We don't have big programs. But that does not mean that God cannot accomplish big things through Christ Episcopal Church. Little is much in the kingdom of God. And individually, how often do we feel overwhelmed overmatched, inadequate? How often do we we feel that we feel fear, too little faith, too little hope, too few resources? We might feel overwhelmed because of cancer, a lost job, a shaky marriage, addiction, death, or depression. Oftentimes we feel so small and the struggles are so big that we want to pray, oh Lord, help me. My tiny boat is so small and the angry ocean is so big. Little prayers, little deeds of kindness, little words of encouragement, a little smile, a tiny expression of love. We sometimes ask, what's the use? 
It doesn't matter. They do matter. They matter a lot. These are the mustard seeds, which in due time and with God's grace will yield a great harvest. I'm reminded of a beloved member of one of my parishes. Her name was Edith. For years, Edith served as the clerk of the vestry. You know that job that no one wants? Served 25 years taking notes in the minutes. She was sharp and competent and precise. And mostly, she was knowledgeable about everyone and everything in the parish. <laughs> But then she suffered a health crisis. And at 85 years of age, she had to leave her home and move into a nursing facility. She was limited in what she could do, but she always looked for ways to serve. Even in failing health, she still had beautiful handwriting. And she began sending handwritten notes to people in our parish. Sometimes happy occasions, like weddings, baptisms, births. And sometimes she sent notes to those dealing with difficult times, like illness and loss and death. Edith's little handwritten notes were a blessing. They were a gift. They brought great joy and great comfort. Those simple notes from an 85-year-old woman in a nursing home brought hope and joy and new life to many in our parish. In the kingdom of God, little is much. The encouraging message of the parable of the mustard seed is captured in this old Methodist hymn. It reads, In the harvest field now ripened, there's work for all to do. Hark, the voice of God is calling. He's calling me and you. Little is much when God is in it. We labor not in vain. From a seed comes a harvest when we labor in Jesus' name. Yes, little is much. It is true indeed. Just hear the message of the mustard seed. Can you hear the good news? Can you hear the good news in that parable of the mustard seed? It is a message of hope and of encouragement and promise. In the economy of God's kingdom, God's grace accomplishes the extraordinary through the ordinary. Even through folks like me and you. Amen. Amen.